Welcome back. It's time to get cooking here in the News 4 Tucson studio. And today we continue our annual Anchored in Tradition cooking segment. We are here with News 4 Tucson Sports Director, Paul Sikala. Hello. Okay, how's it going? Okay, you know, I, I call these just poor man's donuts or donuts for dummies. I mean, it's pretty easy. And yeah. basically all you need is any Pillsbury or any, any dough when you're just making those rolls, you put them in the oven, you make it out, you, you know, you'll open it up right here, you put them in the form of kind of donuts if you want the shapes. Or then, you could do a U of A like it, what you just did. Exactly, U of A or, and then afterwards you put them in and we're going to show you what it looks like when you kind of roll them up. I'll let you And you here, have kind of mess oil around. in this pan. Yeah, there's oil it's in there. It's been heating up. Exactly. It's kind of Cisco oil. You can use your own stuff in here. I'm just going to throw this in, kind of little O as, okay. as if it's a donut and boom. So you just... You got to get it fast though, because uh, as you guys can see, it just starts cooking and cooking and cooking. You have a funny story behind that. Well, there is a funny story because when I was in college at USC, my, my good buddy Enrique, he told me, hey dude, you can impress girls and here's all you have to do. You, you can pretend you know how to cook and you can make donuts by doing this. And I was like, what? And he kind of showed me this, this thing and everything. I didn't use it for that reason, but of course, of uh, course. he did. And uh, I, it wouldn't impress anybody, trust me. <laughs> but uh, does it impress you? That's the question. You know what, it's actually <laughs> funny. We were talking about this and my family makes the same thing. It's called pizza frites. It's an Italian dessert where you take dough, you put it in oil, you let it fry and you put powdered sugar on it. So I grew up making these as well with no, my family. It's good. I mean, it really is donuts for dummies or whatever you want to call it. Here are some so ones have, that have already been made because we don't have so a lot have. of time. I mean, literally, <laughs> you can throw some pudding on it to make chocolate. So you, so we already have some made right now. So, you know, what are some of your toppings? What are well, your favorite? What I do is just so it sticks, I'll put a little bit of honey here and then just put okay. some of that cinnamon on it. And, little you know, cinnamon. I'll do the same. Ooh, put little a little cinnamon. honey here. These ones, like I said, were pre-made. And, uh, you know, you could put, as you mentioned, powdered sugar. There's a lot of different things you can put. You have some Nutella. And then one thing's for sure, Yum. you can't forget about the one that's cooking while you're talking like I'm doing. I this know. one actually <laughs> looks perfectly golden brown. Because the thing is, you have to get that temperature perfect. And it doesn't have to look like a donut. Obviously, this looks more like a croissant now. But, uh, but in the end, it, it's pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> Everybody in the studio is loving it. But like I said, I mean, it, it's super easy to make. And I don't consider myself Chef Boy RD or anything for doing yeah. this. But um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I love this. Okay, do you make this? How often do you make this? Simply, I never make it. But you never make I do it? remember back from my college days. Uh huh. Like I said, my buddy Enrique was trying to impress everybody and saying, dude, you could pretend you're cook and blah, blah, blah. It was actually really funny. And I tried it and I was like, dude, this works, man. But I will go I don't for know. another one. You know, I used to make these and just. It was so funny because my sister and I would try to make the biggest one <laughs> that actually like stayed together in a circle. We would have little competitions on it. So it's a fun thing to do with your family, the little kids, but parents, you know, you have to be aware this is very, very hot oil. Big time. So. And it's already kind of bounced up and hit me a little bit. But if you guys want to go to this too, you were talking about making the shapes and everything. You can get like, so you know, fun. we made kind of U of A right here. I'm afraid to put it in there because it, it'll probably fall apart. <laughs> we won't do that. But <laughs> if you want to get Paul's recipe, just head over to our website, kvoa.com, and we'll be right back.